Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Tanya Harris, and I'm the Executive Director for the Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Uh, thank you for joining us here today as we mark this victorious moment in Rhode Island. Uh, thank you to Governor Gina Raimondo for uh, signing this bill promptly, uh, this crucial bill promptly, and for having us here today as we celebrate that in Rhode Island, all children can now be protected through restraining orders. I would like to say a special thank you to our legislative champions, Senator Mary Ellen Goodwin and Representative Chris Blazajewski, who fiercely advocated for this change and continued their leadership in prevention of domestic violence in Rhode Island. We thank you. We extend our gratitude to our member agencies who some are here today, to our affiliate members, to our advocates, to our 10 men members, and to our allies for the support throughout this process. The passage of this law could not have been possible without the courage, determination, and leadership of our task force SOAR survivors, sisters overcoming abusive, abusive relationships. Two of the survivors who are here today, Robin and Christy, and Robin who we've heard from already, felt fear, anxiety, and powerlessness when they tried to protect their children against their abusers by getting a restraining order. Before the Protect All Children Act was passed, only children who are related to their abuser by blood or marriage were protected under this order. Robin, Christy, and several other survivors raised up this issue and used their shared experiences to ensure that no other survivors would have to endure the same ordeal. They made this protective law possible. They made it real. Thank you, Robin and Christy, and all of our source survivors. By listening to our survivors and amplifying their voices, we can create a future that is free from domestic violence. As we celebrate today in this victory, we must remember that our job is not yet done. Rhode Islanders are still dying at the hands of abusers. Because of the lack of resources in our state, there are still dozens of unmet requests that victims are reporting to our member agencies every single day. The need is real, and we need your help to address this need. That's why it's imperative that changes to our system, like closing up loopholes as we are today, enacting laws and policies that protect Rhode Islanders from harm are so very important. Working together as advocates, as elected officials, survivors and allies, we can end domestic violence. I look forward to your support as we continue to break down the barriers that stand in the way of safety and well-being of our fellow Rhode Islanders. We'd like to formally thank Gina Governor Raimondo, Senate President uh, Dominic Ruggiero, Senator Mary Ellen Goodwin, Chairwoman Erin Lynch Prada, Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, Representative Chris Blazajewski, and Chairman Robert Craven for working with us at the state level to pass this crucial legislation. Please join us, if you would, after the official bill signing for a photo and for a plaque of recognition from the Rick Adivi. And a special mention and thank you to our member agencies, our affiliate member advocates, and all the support they've helped us with during this effort.